fast, fair. Fox Toledo News, first at four, starts right now. Now, live, this is Fox Toledo Breaking News. First at four today from downtown Toledo, two Toledo police officers were sent to the hospital around three hours ago after a hissing piece of mail was discovered inside the downtown safety building. Our Michelle Zapata is the only reporter inside the building which was sealed off as a precaution because of this apparent bomb. She joins us now live on the phone. Well, that's right, Laura. I am inside the safety building right now. Captain Ron Navarro from the Toledo Police Department just addressed the media to give us a little more information on what's going on. Basically, at 1 o'clock today, a package, possibly with narcotics in it, uh, was opened on the fourth floor of the safety building. Officers say that they heard a hissing noise, and there was some possible white powder that exploded when that box was opened. Now, a lieutenant and a detective did allegedly inhale whatever came out of that box. And just as a precautionary, they were taken to the hospital to St. V's emergency room. Now, after this all happened, there was an evacuation of the fourth floor. All personnel and officers on that floor were asked to leave. They also shut down the elevators to make sure nobody could enter that floor. Uh, no, as of right now, no one is allowed to come into the safety building until they know that everything is clear. Now, this is what Captain Ron Navarro had to say earlier today. So we're operating right now until we find out what's going on in the fourth floor. We're not closed down. We haven't right. shut off our ventilation system. Now, just about a half an hour ago, I did witness three men in hazmat outfits coming into the safety building. They did go to the fourth floor and collect a sample. We're being told that sample contained uh, was part of the package, possibly some styrofoam, and they did uh, do a sample of that. And as of right now, it looks like everything um, is okay. They're still monitoring the situation, and those three men did go back up to the fourth floor uh, to do some more testing. Um, again, a package did explode on the fourth floor of the safety building. A detective and lieutenant were taken to the hospital after they possibly inhaled a substance. Um, I am the only reporter inside the safety building. I will bring you more reports as soon as I find anything else out. But for now, reporting live in downtown Toledo, Michelle Zapata, Fox Toledo News, First at Four. All right. Thank you, Michelle, for the information on this breaking story. Once again, you were looking at live video downtown. There were still crews surrounding the safety building, people in hazmat uniforms. Now, two officers were involved in this that possibly inhaled something that came out of this package. They were taken to St. V's, and we are being told that the hospital is shut down also as a precaution right now because it is not clear what that white substance is. But... A spokesperson says right now it is just a precaution. We don't know what it is. Our Sean Hegarty is live at St. V's with more on this. Sean, what is going on now? Well, I can tell you that the ER is in fact shut down, and you made a good point about stressing that this is just as a precaution as they try to figure out what in fact that substance was. They're doing this so that no one else has to come in contact with it if in fact it is toxic or if it's nothing at all. Joined now by Dr. Greg Email, a physician here at St. V's. Can you give me an idea, doctor, of what kind of procedures you put into place so that the officers that were brought here don't come in contact with any other people that might be in the ER? Yes, we have a, a well-trained staff that uh, go through uh, well-established procedures on decontamination of any uh, patient that does come in contact with any substances, and they usually will get uh, washed down prior to coming into the emergency department and kept separate from the rest of the, the patients uh, so that no cross-contamination does occur. Okay, and you do this even if you know it's toxic or even if you're still unclear at this point. It's always as a precaution to make sure that everyone in here, including those two officers, is safe. Correct. We don't know what, what it is, so you always err on the side of precautions, and that's what we're doing at this point. And this, I assume, is something you train for, so this is not something new. It's something you try to prepare just in case. Correct. We have, like I said, we have well-established procedures and do a yearly, minimum of yearly training on this so that everyone is comfortable in their roles and what is expected of them and know what to do. Okay. So to your information right now, no one else has been affected by whatever the substance is? Correct. No one else is uh, affected. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Greg. Email here at St. V's. Now, we want to make it clear to people that if you do, in fact, have an emergency, the emergency room here at St. V's is closed down. What you want to do is call 911. The paramedics will know exactly where to take you, so it won't be here. They'll take you to some kind of other neighboring 
hospital. So that's what you want to do. Don't bring your emergency here to St. V's. Call 911. The paramedics will know the best thing to do. We'll keep you updated. We understand the ER could open up here in some time, and we'll let you know as soon as that happens. Reporting live from St. V's, Sean Hegarty, Fox Toledo News, first at 4.